I'm Dr. Kanika Sood Sharma, a consultant in the Department of Radiation Oncology at Dharamshila Narayana Super Speciality Hospital. The month of April is observed as Head and Neck Cancer Awareness Month and it is a very important thing because Head and Neck Cancer is on a rise in our country. In the last six to seven years, there has been almost 116% rise in head and neck cancers. Worldwide, if there are 100 cases of head and neck cancer, 56 to 60 are from our country. And of all the cancers which happen in our country, 30 to 40% are the head and neck cancers. So what are these head and neck cancers? Head and neck cancers are all those cancers which are occurring in the mouth and the throat region and the causes for these cancers are primarily tobacco, alcohol and many viruses like the human papilloma virus as well as the Epstein-Barr virus. Any chronic irritation such as some sharp tooth can also cause cancers of the head and neck. There are some other cancers which can be clubbed as head and neck cancers. These are the cancers of salivary glands and the thyroid gland. We should be knowing about the symptoms of these common cancers. The symptoms are related to the site. The symptoms relate to the organ which are affected. The cancers which occur in mouth can lead to difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in chewing. There can be non-healing ulcers, there can be white or red patches in the mouth which can be precancerous. Apart from this change in voice, swelling in the neck or blood in sputum can also indicate towards a head and neck cancer. But I would here also reassure you that all these symptoms can also happen in many diseases which are not cancerous. So you need not panic, rather you should approach to a healthcare service and get yourself treated and the diagnosis would be cleared there whether it's an infection or a disease. So what if somebody does get head and neck cancer? Head and neck cancers can be cured in a good amount of patients provided they come to us in an early stage. So once we do certain scans such as MRI or CT scans, we establish the stage of cancer and after that the treatment would be done either by surgery, radiation or chemotherapy. Surgery is mainstay of treatment in majority of oral cavity cancers. By oral cavity, I mean the tongue, the cheeks. Whereas radiation is the mainstay of treatment in tumors of the throat or the voice box, the larynx. And in advanced stages, all three modalities are utilized together. Radiation, a lot of people fear that may be causing a lot of problems in head and neck cancer, but almost 60 to 70 percent head and neck cancer patients do require radiation at some point in their treatment. And in today's state, radiation is a very safe and effective modality of treatment. The radiation oncologist of today's era is actually empowered with the tools of imaging in our hand. The imaging modalities have made us diagnose the tumor early and even identify their location with a lot of precision. So the radiation which we do nowadays is of millimetric precision leading to less side effects to the innocent organs which are situated around the tumors. Nowadays, we do treatment techniques like IMRT, IGRT and adaptive radiation which reduce the side effects, especially the long-term side effects in the cancer survivors. There are many new treatment modalities coming in. The machines such as Halcyon have particular advantages in patients for head and neck cancer. As I told you that we are doing treatment techniques like IMRT and IGRT, these techniques take a lot of time. Most patients have to stay for almost half an hour to 45 minutes on the treatment couch, which becomes uncomfortable to the patients, especially when they have a lot of secretions in their mouth. The modalities like Halcyon-based linear accelerators have a very short treatment time because they have fast delivery techniques. So the entire treatment is finished within three to six minutes, which makes the patient's treatment overall very comfortable. And the dual leaf technology which it embarks also makes it very precise. So there is a boon for the cancer patients in the current era in terms of technology. The only important thing is that you be aware of your symptoms, take care of yourself and get yourself diagnosed in time if you are suspecting such disease. Thank you so much.